I guess we can call this my 350 subscriber special. <laughs> Ciao friends and welcome back to Two Sex Dead. It's April 1st, which I had entirely forgotten about, so don't worry, I'm not going to April Fool you. But I'm not going to do a serious video either. Instead, I bought one of these. <laughs> to be more clear, I bought nine of these, because that's the minimum I could get on Amazon Prime. It cost me about a tenner. And not just that, I also have Monster, Red Bull, and Blue Spark, which is Tesco, a uh, supermarket's own brand of energy drink. So, I'm going to get into taste testing them, I guess. So, yes, I'm going to be drinking water between them all and all of that. Uh, I was also thinking about getting uh, a can of Relentless, but then I realised that I was already going to have to drink four energy drinks today, and five would be pushing it. So, yeah, starting with the Red Bull. Obviously, the original energy drink, effectively, the first one that was popular, and the one that's been in F1 for a very long time. It's a fairly complex flavour. It's definitely the correct one to start with as a baseline. It's it's just what people think of when they think of an energy drink. Doesn't smell of uh, particularly all that much. It's all quite nice. I have always thought that Red Bull was uh, a fairly, you know, it's a fairly complicated flavour. It's not necessarily always going to be the best on the first taste. Uh, but if you're drinking an entire can, it's much better. It's also one that favours drinking slowly, unlike Monster, which is uh, a lot more... You can drink that one a lot faster. So, speaking of that, let's go on to the Monster now. Only one today that I couldn't get in a 250ml can, so I've got twice as much here. Interestingly, it is about the same amount of sugar as both the Red Bull and the Rich Energy. The own brand stuff, though, is actually about half as much sugar. So yeah, a lot more sweet on the nose initially as well. A lot sweeter throughout, I think. It always has that kind of hollow feeling to me. Not in like a bad way, just a bit of a... There is some complexity in Monster, it isn't just pure sweetness. I should mention I have had a couple of the cans of Rich Energy before, and I'm pretty sure they are chasing the Red Bull end of the spectrum, not the Monster. I just thought I'd throw that in uh, as a kind of wild card. Next up, we're going for the star of the show. I'm going to leave the own brand for last. See how it compares to this and the Red Bull notably. This one is one of the new logo cans uh, and it is entirely in date. Interestingly, it says it's made in Austria, which is where Red Bull are based. However, Red Bull, at least in the UK, isn't made in Austria. It's made in the UK. So, I don't know what they're trying to pull there, but it's no use. <laughs> has uh, even less of a smell than the Red Bull, actually. Wow, that is... tasteless. <laughs> there is a taste here. It's uh, sweeter than Red Bull, but it doesn't have uh, the bitterness. Yeah, I think what's happening here is kind of like the Pepsi challenge. Right? Pepsi tried to compare their product to Coke and claimed eventually that people preferred it. But the reason people often preferred it was that Pepsi would give you a very small amount of each. And a very small amount of Pepsi, which is quite a sweet drink, is nicer. However, if you're drinking half a litre of the stuff, people tend to prefer Coke. Because it's a more complicated flavour. It has bitter notes in there, it has extra flavours. And I think that is similar to what's happening with the rich energy here. If you were served this in a bar, I honestly don't think you'd notice, and to be fair to Rich Energy, that is supposedly what their original business model was. It's not as nice. <laughs> it's not as nice. And it's not... it's the same amount of sugar. Uh, give or take a couple of grams, I think. So I, I, I don't see why you'd go for this over Red Bull. And... This stuff only ever comes in 250ml cans, the Rich Energy here. It only comes in 250ml cans, which of course the Red Bull does, but that's the bottom of their range. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not great. And, having had a couple of these before, this is why I chose to get the own brand stuff, the Blue Spark. Because, of course, this is also an imitation of Red Bull, effectively. That is the flavour profile they are chasing. But, I'm interested if... The fact that it's got half as much sugar, I wonder how much that affects the flavour profile. Maybe add some of those bitter notes back in, especially if they've 
especially if they've used a lot of sweeteners, because you can t generally taste those. By far the hardest can to open. Ooh. I'm getting a citrus on this one that I haven't got on any of the others. That tastes even less of anything. Now, look, what I'm saying is, even in bulk, this was over a pound for a can. This I got, just the one of them, for 50 pence, and it's half the sugar content. Buy this one. They have slightly different recipes, they have slightly different tastes. The can on this one is slightly nicer, but only in terms of, like, getting it open. If you can find this for cheap, which you won't, yeah, sure, it does the job. I'd still pick this one up, though. It's so much cheaper, and half the sugar. And comparing these two, which are roughly the same price, it's the Red Bull any day. <laughs> any day of the week. There's just not enough of a flavour profile on this one. It's just not the one I would go to. And uh, our best value for money winner is, of course, this. Because this can was a quid, which puts it at the same price as this, basically. Uh, half the size for this can, half the money. Of course, if you don't like this, then uh, I think it's the Red Bull. There we go, slightly different video, slightly different style. Uh, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Have you tried Rich Energy? What did you think? Do you think it's basically just a worse version of Red Bull? Tastes a bit like a supermarket own brand. Oh, and uh, if you don't drink energy drinks, please, um, I don't care. You don't need to tell me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you uh, haven't already, please click that button down below. I will see you on Monday with an actual Formula One video, I promise. <laughs>